In this video, we will step through how to utilize the Design Explorer and Optimization Tool in InspireCast. We first need to build our initial casting study prior to setting up our design exploration. InspireCast utilizes an easy to utilize GUI to quickly set up models. Our first step is to specify our cast parts material, which will be this bracket. We can specify an aluminum grade and use the default pour temperature. Note, users can customize these values if a material isn't in the database. We will then set the boundary conditions of the model by selecting the gravity pour direction and then specifying the gating of our model. In our case, the top surface will be where the metal is being poured into the mold. Our mold will be modeled as green sand with default temperature parameters. InspireCast has the capabilities to run various types of studies. In this case, we will run a gravity pour and specify a spoon height for the pour. After running the study, we can visualize our results and see any defects. With our initial model run, we can now move on to our design exploration. We can now set up our design exploration. In this case, we want to add a riser, which will help with porosity defects. We know that a riser and casting ultimately affects overall shrinkage, and different size risers will affect shrinkage and cooling. We will add a variable for both the neck and overall diameter of the riser to determine the optimum sized riser. We can do this by adjusting the dimension for each and adding a variable. InspireCast has both DOE and optimization design explorations. For this case, we will run an optimization to determine the optimum riser size. We can specify the range the riser diameters can vary, and then we will specify a sensor to monitor the overall response. Sensors can be added anywhere in a cast model, and in this case, I will create a sensor near the fill location to monitor the defects at that location. With the exploration now set up, I can specify how many runs I wish to utilize and if I want to change the mesh size of the run. I will use the default settings and begin running. During a design exploration solve, a task monitor will illustrate if any errors occur during solving. Let's now review our design exploration results. When the run completes, we have a summary table which summarizes all results from our optimization scenario. We can see the optimal run with the optimum riser diameter sizes. The Design Explorer allows us to load any of the result files in the table and then to visualize them with the traditional InspireCast post-processor. For our optimal scenario, we take a look at temperature and shrinkage and see the effect of the riser diameters on our model. Now let's look at a non-optimal scenario. In this case, our neck diameter is smaller for our riser, so our cooling gets affected and ultimately our ultimate shrinkage is affected as well. Through using the design exploration tool in InspireCast, I was able to streamline my riser design and select the optimal riser. To learn more about InspireCast or other Altair products, go to www.trueinsight.io.